Hello, St. Louis U High. This is Kevin Foy. As many of you may know, I have been in California all week doing a Jesuit Schools Network Leadership Conference. So I'm going to show you how I used Canvas while I was gone to make sure that students continue to learn. So the first thing uh, that guys are going to do is on Monday morning, they pulled up this assignment, which tells them to look over here to get their big economic ideas assignment. So when you click here, it's going to pull them so this, so this is where it's where it's due, which is why it's important to go here, to this Google Doc, which explains everything that they need to do. They're basically going to make a, a two to three minute video explaining why a particular Nobel laureate's work, uh, Nobel laureate in economics, was, was important. So then they're just going to upload their video to YouTube that they make on their phone or iPad or whatever and paste the link in here. So it's kind of a fun thing. I told the guys about it. They're sort of excited. Um, additionally, then... There's a reading assignment, so Canvas kind of tells them what they need to read. Uh, since I'm not going to be there on Tuesday, what they're going to do is pull this up. And then I made a screen capture video, which is basically me walking through uh, a PowerPoint lecture using the same software that I'm using, using right now called Camtasia. So that'll take about uh, 15 minutes or so. And then they have these questions and problems to work on. They, I have them always assigned in groups, so they'll work on, on groups uh, to get all of this stuff finished. And you can kind of see that there. On Wednesday, they have another video to watch. So um, this is kind of moving on into chapter 29. And then this is kind of the part that I'm excited about. So I want to tell you a little bit about the quiz that they're going to take on Tuesday. So their perspective looks a little bit different since they're students. So this takes you to... The, the quiz as I made it. Um, what you'll notice is right here, it shows you that it's a 10 point quiz, that they have 12 minutes to take it. They can't do multiple attempts and they can't see their previous responses. They're only allowed to see one question at a time. And without this access code, they can't get into the quiz. But what's particularly interesting, at least from my standpoint, is this quiz is over two chapters. Okay, so chapters 27 and 29. So what I did was I made two question banks. So this is the chapter 27 question bank, and inside of this bank, I put 10 questions. Um, they're multiple choice questions. Now what winds up happening is, the, is Canvas randomly picks five questions and gives one point for each out of the chapter 27 question bank, and then it gives it picks five questions out of the chapter 29 question bank. So each student will have a different random assortment of each of these 10 questions, five of the 10. So they'll all take 10 questions, but it'll be, uh, but they'll be different for each one. Also, the multiple choice answers are scrambled. And then obviously they're automatically graded and they go uh, right into the grade book without my really doing anything. So. Thursday night, I'll be able to see if students have, uh, have you know, been doing any of the work based on this quiz, because you'll notice when we come back um, after turning their assignment in tomorrow morning and being off on Monday, the first thing we're going to do is take a real quiz, one of our longer ones that's a regular on-paper quiz. So I just wanted to show you. Basically, they're getting about 30 minutes of lecture that's videotaped, and in these two segments, they've got this homework assignment. They have their long... Uh, research assignment with a video that goes along with it and they have a self-guided quiz um, throughout the week so it's a it's a relatively robust week relatively similar to what we'd be doing if I were there and canvas really allowed me to do this uh, even with seniors who don't yet have you know any definite device but all of this can be done uh, with their phone at as, as sort of a minimum um, when they have you know, more routine devices I'll be able to do a little bit more, but even, even just with phones you can get a lot done. So thank you very much. Have a great day.